Hello everyone. I'm Hadi Skarache. I'm a PhD candidate in chemical engineering at NGIT. I'm honored to present to you today another study from Cosmo Intel entitled Effects of T Consciousness Fields on In Vitro Maturation of Mouse Oil Sites, Mitochondrial Membrane Potential, and Embryo Development Following IVF. This research investigates the intersection of infertility treatment and consciousness fields, offering insights into novel approaches that could impact fertility treatments. Let's delve into the details of this study together. Infertility is a global concern, affecting 8 to 12 percent of couples worldwide. Treatments like IVF have become increasingly common. However, it's essential to recognize that IVF isn't suitable for all patients. Factors like high antral follicle count or polycystic ovary syndrome can complicate its effectiveness. Let's talk about the world of T-consciousness fields, pioneered by Muhammad Ali Tahiri. These fields are subcategories of the Cosmic Consciousness Network. Through scientific experiment, TCFs have shown incredible insights into consciousness as a non-physical entity. But what's particularly intriguing is uh, their potential to transmit information influencing the behavior of treated samples. So what's our focus here? We are looking into the effects of these T-consciousness fields on the in vitro maturation of mouse oocytes. Additionally, we're examining how TCFs impact mitochondrial membrane potential and embryo development through IVF. With this brief introduction, let's jump into methods of a study. For method, we have the application of TCFs. To ensure the integrity of our research, we strictly adhere to the protocols established by the Cosmo Intel Research Center, which you can find details on their website, cosmointel.com. In order to maintain objectivity, we implemented the double-blind method. This means that lab technicians were unaware of TCF's theory, and the individuals applying the treatment were unaware of the study's detail. In this research, TCFs were applied at the beginning of the uh, experiment. This figure shows the main part of the TCF application protocol where the information is transmitted through announcer and cosmic consciousness network to the object under study. Now let's break down the experimental setup for both IVM and IVF experiments. For the IVM, we divided the immature oocytes into five experimental groups. First group is the negative control. A second group is positive control uh, involved the addition of inducing granulosa cells to the culture medium. And the remaining three groups were our treated samples inducing by three different types of T-consciousness fields. For IVF experiment, uh, to ensure successful fertilization, the sperm suspension were pre-incubated for capacitation before introducing it to the collected oocytes. Uh, following this, the combined sperm oocyte suspension underwent incubation for four to six hours. Uh, fertilization rates were calculated by counting the number of two cell embryos 24 hours post completion. Now, let's look at the results. Uh, in comparison to the negative control, the positive control experienced a reduction of 20% in the average number of immature oocytes. This reduction was even more pronounced in the TCF treated groups with around 33%, 20%, and 36% observed for TCF1, TCF2, and TCF3, respectively. Significant enhancement in the maturation in middle phase 2 stage were observed in, in the TCF1 and TCF3 groups, showing the average increase of around 40% compared to the negative control. And uh, when considering the sum of the metaphase 2 and germline vesicle breakdown stages, a significant change were observed under the influence of all three types of TCFs as well. 
the mitochondrial membrane potential of uh, metaphase uh, 2 OSIs was uh, estimated using JC1 aggregate fluorescent intensity. We observed a significant difference in the values of the positive control compared to the negative control with an increase of approximately 82%. Likewise, for TCF treated samples, this number is 61% for samples treated with TCF1 and 69% for TCF3. In vitro fertilization outcomes in TCF treated samples and controls are shown in this table and bar charts. Results indicate that the application of TCFs led to a significant increase in the percentage of 2PN zygotes, showing an around 12% increase compared to the control group. Additionally, TCFs demonstrated a significant impact by reducing the number of unfertilized oocytes by 10% compared to the control group. This table shows the percentage of different grades of embryos in control and samples under TCF's treatment. The percentage of A and B grades significantly increased under the influence of TCFs, two times higher than uh, the control group. Also, a reduction of about 45% in the BC grades, which is indicative of low quality embryos were reported as well when exposed to TCFs. To recap, I'd like to highlight that the impact of TCFs uh, on IVM and IVF is explored for the first time in this study. IVM results showed improved oocyte maturation with increased mitochondrial membrane potential, and uh, IVF experiments demonstrated that TCF treatment boosts the likelihood of successful zygote formation and also uh, enhances embryo quality, suggesting potential benefits of T consciousness field exposure. Uh, further research is suggested to validate the efficacy of uh, T consciousness fields. At the end, I want to express my special gratitude to Muhammad Ali Tahiri, the founder of Cosmo Intel and uh, innovator of T consciousness fields and to our esteemed co-authors for their invaluable contributions to this study. Uh, with that, uh, we would like to invite uh, laboratories and research institutions for collaboration. And thank you so much for your attention.